I gotta tell you, I've really been enjoying this little gas grill. Often during our busy weekdays, I need to whip up a quick dinner or a quick lunch. And these are the times when it's super important to just be able to crank on a grill. It's piping hot and ready to cook in five to 10 minutes. And I can rip out a bunch of delicious food for my little ones and myself super fast. This is the upgraded Monument Grills Mesa 425 four burner grill. It also comes in a two burner and a three burner. Let's chat about it. Now Monument sent this grill to me with the purpose of making a review video. That's why you're watching this one. They did not sponsor this video, nor did any money change hands, and they don't get to see this video before it's published. Now, like I said, this is the updated one or upgraded one, but I've never used the original Mesa grill before. So I've only ever used this upgraded one. The overall design has been upgraded from the previous one. And honestly, I love the matte black finish. Like I normally have all stainless steel grills and I try to keep it that way. But when they sent this black one, I was like, I may be rethinking how I want to do my outdoor kitchen coming up this summer, hint to a future video. But I really love this matte black finish. It just has a really cool vibe to it. The grill still has the clear view lid to it. So that's where you can actually see your food cooking. That's pretty cool. We'll talk about that more in a minute. But they've upgraded the glass to make it easier to clean and more heat resistant. The whole thing is made out of die cast aluminum, but they've upgraded the die cast aluminum. And they say it retains heat better than the previous model. I can't attest to that, but it does retain heat very well over the last three months of me cooking with this model. So more durability, more insulation. They've updated the built-in thermometer to go up to 800 degrees instead of 700 degrees. And it seems like they simplified the design a little bit, which I'm cool with. They've redesigned the control knobs to add a little fire button on them. LED backlighting, that's pretty sweet. It lights up white when the grill's off and they turn red when you turn the fire on. The side burner, I've got a little bit to say about that in a minute or two, but it's a 12,000 BTU burner and it gets way hotter than any other side burner I've ever had. The side shelves come equipped with hooks to hang your utensils on, so that's handy. And the side shelves also come fully assembled in the box when you go to build your grill when you order it, which is nice compared to other models where you actually have to screw in that hook portion to the actual side panel, and it's kind of a pain in the ass, to be honest. But you don't have to do that anymore with the new Mesa. But more on that on another Monument Grill review coming up very soon. And a bottle opener, you gotta have a bottle opener on your grill, and it's placed at just the right angle so you can crack them open when you need to. Now, this is a feature that I really, really do like. I haven't had a gas grill since my Weber Genesis, which was a natural gas grill. But cleaning a gas grill was always a pain in the ass. I never wanted to do it. It was always just a pain. You got filthy dirty when you did it. And so you usually just dealt with flare ups by burning them off, right? Click the like button if that's you. And reaching down into the grill to clean off the bottom, to get rid of all that stuff so you didn't have flare ups was always something that I just really hated to do. The way that Monument has solved this issue with a removable grease tray, I love. Pull it out to clean it or cover it with tin foil. And then every time you want to clean it, just pull off the tin foil and add a new fresh layer. Good to go. Very nice feature. The grates are cast iron, which is nice, but honestly, they're a little bit thin, but they do a nice job at retaining heat. The entire firebox is enamel coated. This is supposed to make it last longer over time. I can't attest to this because I've only had it for three months, but in my time having this grill, it's lasted quite well. It's held up very well. Plenty of storage with this grill. However, the back of the grill is actually open to the elements. So if you were to store your cast iron in there, your cast iron griddle add-on that you can do, or your smoke boxes or anything like that, if you don't have a cover on your your grill, your add-ons or whatever you're putting in your storage container will get the elements on them and get wet and rust or whatever. So make sure you get the cover and that will solve that issue. The doors are okay. They look good. I like the handles on them. The metal's a little bit thin and I dented them pretty easily while building it. So that happened to me, but your mileage may vary there. The magnet on the back of the door works very well and holds it shut even in crazy windstorms like what we're having right now. The wheels. I think this is where Monument kind of saved a little money to add some more features like we're, like we're talking about. So these wheels, I mean, they're wheels. They're plastic wheels, they're casters. They do okay. If you're the type of person that moves your grill around a lot, there are those people out there. I don't know how long these wheels will last. You might, you might wanna upgrade to a nicer caster if you buy this grill, or you could probably buy new ones as, as they wear out. But 
just know that these casters aren't the greatest of casters that I've experienced. Now, most importantly, how's this grill cook? First, it gets a lot hotter than my Weber Genesis grill ever did. Now, my Weber Genesis grill isn't old. I, we got that, I think, in 2018, uh, cooked on it for a couple years, and then when we moved here to this house, I didn't have a natural gas hookup, so I gave that grill to my dad. Plus, I didn't really cook a lot with gas grills anymore because of all the new grills that I've got. This grill, way hotter, way faster over 700 degrees in five to 10 minutes with all the burners turned on to preheat. That's hot. The deeper firebox than what I was used to keeps grease fryers and flare ups at a very, very minimum, if at all. So that's really, really nice. Protein sear nicely. And probably the best thing about any gas grill is your ability to adjust temps on the fly. And this grill is no different in that category. Overall, it cooks very well and it's fun to use. I like the, I like being able to see my food as it cooks. Now let's talk about that side burner. I've honestly never Ever had a side burner that works this well that gets this hot usually you know you have like a, a side burner on there and it's barely sizzling your green beans in a pot or or whatever and it really struggles to boil a pot of water not this guy if you're not paying attention and you've got something on the side burner even if it's on low the chances of you burning it, especially if you're doing like a brown butter situation, like in this B-roll here, it will burn quickly, okay? And if you're not paying attention, when I, when I first used it, I was gonna make a brown butter sauce and I had it on medium low. And when I put the butter in, it was only like 19, 20 degrees outside. So super cold up top, pan was way hotter than I was expecting coming from a previous grill. And that butter lifted up, combusted into flames. And it was like one of those, oh shit moments. I had to toss the butter out, blow the flame out, clean the pan up nice and easy, don't worry. So from now on, I just really pay attention when I use that side burner, because things will cook way faster than you expect them to. Maybe that'll change over time. In the last three months, it has not. Now, who's this grill for? Honestly, like I mentioned in the beginning of this video, if you need a grill or want to add a grill to your outdoor kitchen that you can just turn on, it's ready to go, piping hot in five to 10 minutes, and you could pretty much cook anything on it, well, this guy's for you. I believe this grill's priced pretty aggressively at $435 compared to other grills on the market that have similar features. To compare my Weber Genesis 3 burner, was almost $700 when I bought that in 2018. This is $435 and has more features than that Weber Genesis did. So I think it's a good value. Now, Birger, tell me about that glass front. Okay, okay, okay. So this is cool. It will get dirty as you can imagine, but cleaning it isn't bad. Like they say, they upgraded the glass to make it easier to clean. That has been my experience. I've been using it for the last three months off and on, cooking various types of food, and I've only had to clean it once and it wasn't that bad. So if you want to see your food cooking on your grill while it's going, you see the flames going, it's, it's pretty cool. It's pretty, it's a pretty cool little feature. I really do think that if your only grill is going to be a gas grill, that you might want to think about ways to add more flavor to your food. A smoke box, a cast iron sear plate, and a rotisserie are all great options that Monument has that you can add to your grill. And I love all three of those add-ons. And what's cool about those is they also add the capability to cook a wider variety of foods for you as well. Lastly, it's always important to discuss a warranty. This grill has the same eight year limited warranty that the previous Mesa had in a full one year warranty. So there you have it, the Monument Grills 425 brand new Mesa, the upgraded Mesa. I've enjoyed my time with it and will continue to. If you're thinking of getting one, let me know in the comments and let me know what other grills you might be comparing it to. I'll see if I can help you out there best I can. You can use coupon code Monument Mesa and save 8% on this grill. So 8% of a 435, not bad. The link is right below. If you have any questions, I would love to answer them for you. Just hit me up in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, I'd be so humbled if you would season that like button heavily and take a big butt out of the subscribe button if you haven't already. As always, I appreciate you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.